Open weight women's second varsity race. Princeton in lane one. Michigan in lane two. Scheduled to start at 11.20. Last race uh, in the fours. Shot off a little bit early. Crews were locked on early and had uh, no problem with starting early. So have a little bit of time here, extra time to start. Both crews stretching out a little bit here. They got some time, about seven minutes before we uh, get underway. It's important to stay loose. You're very tense at the start line. Not a lot of things being said. You know, just sitting in that uh, calm before the storm feeling. So it's asking the crews if they mind starting early here as they are locked on. And no protests to that. The crews are now sitting ready at three-quarter slide, getting ready for the start here. Again, Princeton in lane one, orange and black unis. Michigan, lane two, blue and yellow. Crews have alignment. Up, oh, false start, false start. <laughs> Slight. It's very important to have a straight point. And we have a clean start. Both crews sitting up nicely. Level in these first few strokes. Michigan, high about 47. Princeton, high about 46. Yep, 41 now as the crews come off. Michigan still 46, Princeton 41, but Princeton is now taking two seats lead, pushing out early as they've come through the 100 meter mark, coming up on the 250. Princeton now about Coxon on the four seat of the Michigan crew in lane two. Princeton first in the line at the 250. 48.14, Michigan 49.02. So only about half a second between these crews through the 250, but Princeton off to an early start. They're settling now into their base paces. Princeton at a 30, 35, settling out 35. Michigan staying high here, 39 from Michigan, 39, 38. They will not let up. They are trying to stay with the Princeton crew early. A lot of wind now coming as we approach the 500 meter mark. And Princeton will cross the 500 meter mark with a time of 137.5. Michigan with a time of 140.45. Princeton, Varsity 4 sitting off the sidelines on their, on their way back. Yelling encouragement to the Princeton crew as they push to almost a full length lead over this Michigan boat. Michigan now striking a lot lower. Well, still still around a 36 from the Michigan boat, 36, 37. Princeton crew much longer, much more relaxed, 35 and a half. 34. Princeton calling a move here as they come through the 750 or the 750 in. Pushing to open water now on the Michigan crew. About two, three seats open, and they are extending their lead with this 10. Both crews 
Rowing very cleanly here, but it is clear that, Mich that Michigan just doesn't have the base pace to keep up with this Princeton crew as they continue to push. Three, four seats open now. Princeton, again, taking a big move, gaining ground on this Michigan crew as they approach the 1,000-meter mark. Yes, that was a big move from Princeton there. Michigan trying to respond now, but still four, five seats open from the Princeton crew as they come through the 1,000-meter mark with a time of 3.17. Michigan with a time of 3.27 or excuse me, 323. So about six seconds back from this Princeton crew as they continue to extend their lead here. Looking very clean, driving through to the finish, getting good length on, on the recovery. Striking 33. Michigan taking a move now. Striking, have them at 34-35, so a good two beats higher than the Princeton crew, but now Princeton almost over a length of open water over this Michigan crew as they come to the 7.50 to go with a time of 4.06.79. Michigan through the 7.50 with a time of 4.16.37. Princeton still continuing to push their lead in this second varsity race. It is going to be tough for Michigan to cash them at this point. Princeton, a very commanding lead. Looking very strong, still rowing at only about a 33-34. But it's important, you know, you just need to have a good base pace and even if it's a little low, as long as you're effective, they're still sitting up really well, getting their blades in together around that front end. Coming to up to that 500 meter to go with a time of 4.56.89. Princeton in first place in lane one over the Michigan crew in lane two. Michigan coming through the 500 to go with a time of 5.08.93. Almost two lengths of open water now. The Princeton crew has over this Michigan crew. Pretty, pretty strong headwind as we come into this last 500 meters. Princeton coming up on the last 250. They can, the coxswain can see those red buoys. Princeton striking, still striking 33, but now they're starting to push in this last 250. They're taking a 10 to wind that, wind them up. Yeah, they've really increased the rate here. 37 now from the Princeton crew. Yep, 38-39 now from the Princeton crew. Still trying to press out their lead. Almost three and a half lengths of open water this Princeton crew has over the Michigan crew. Michigan striking 38 themselves, trying to gain ground, but barring an immense crap from Princeton, they will take this race. Princeton coming through the line with an unofficial time of 640.34. Michigan pushing through now to the line. Michigan with an unofficial time of 654.64. So Princeton, a very commanding lead through the entirety of that piece. Their base rhythm was just too fast today for Michigan. 